Hello children, good morning to you all. Hope you have followed my explanation about the lesson Snake Trouble. It is a funny lesson. This lesson is the expression of the views of Ruskin Bond, the great writer, fiction writer we can say. He wrote many stories for the students. He used to stay in Dehradun in a hilly region where he came across so many animals, reptiles, etc. What experience he had with them, he wrote in the form of fictions, stories for children. Okay, so snake trouble is one of them where the speaker went to Lucknow with his grandparents. So while going, they had to go or they had to travel by train. They had to travel by train. So, uh, they started in the evening. Soon after they boarded in the bus uh, train, her grandmother, she stretched herself, means she laid down on the berth. And she told grandfather and the speaker, to help themselves with their dinner. What they got for dinner? Parathas, omelette and chicken curry. Hmm? So, she slept. Then the speaker, without any delay, he wanted to open the hamper, means basket, in which the food was packed. What could he see? He saw a Python curled and slept peacefully in the hamper. What he thought it would have had eaten all their dinner. Understand? So he told this topic news to his grandfather. Then grandfather said, you don't tell it to your grandmother. She will make a big scene. She becomes angry because already... They decided not to get any unusual pets with them. But somehow, accidentally or by mistake, the uh, python was got into the train. How? They had in their house, they had same type of hampers. One is old, one is new. They packed food in the new hamper, but by mistake, the old hamper was carried without knowing that the python was resting in it. It was kept in the storeroom. So, in that way, they left behind their lunch basket and they got into the train, the basket in which python was resting. So, uh, what happened then? Then, uh, oh, they just started and... Uh, or oh, they were sleeping without food like that only. Then they could hear, hear the screams of the people in the corridor in the uh, train. They went and saw. What could they see? Did they see the crowd of people near the washroom? They were saying, snake is there in the washroom. They can't go. Then these people, the speaker and his grandfather understood what must be there. It is their own python was in the washroom, they thought. That's why, what did he do? They do. They said, come on, let us see what is there. Then they opened the washroom and saw there was no snake at all. Then these two people, the speaker and the grandfather, thought that it would have escaped or fell down through the window. So, now there is no worry about the python, they thought like that. Understand? But after that, people came and sat in their own places. But they could see after some times, the train came to a halt, sudden halt. But people were worried. They peeped out and saw. So did the grandfather also. When he peeped out of the, or he peeped through the window, he could see there was no station at all. In the middle, how could the train stop? So he went out till the engine. 
people thought there is some problem with the engine so grandfather went he thought he knows more about the railway engine how to drive and not so he went there but to his surprise what could he see the uh, driver train driver train engine driver was very much terrified he was just standing like that in terror why because python was curled around his leg that was the reason why he stopped the train he thought now he cannot live <laughs> such a big uh, terrific scene was there then slowly grandfather uncurled the python and gave it to the speaker and he asked that man engine driver to sit and he started driving the train and that is how they reached the station of lucknow this is the story now what i want to do is let us read the lesson let us read the lesson i am going to read the lesson you please listen to me and then let us see what to be done next my grandparents and i were going to lucknow to visit aunt ruby we had to travel by train and so we couldn't take any pythons monkeys or other unusual uh, pets with us shortly after we boarded the train grandmother stretched herself out on the berth i think i will go to sleep if you are hungry you can help your yourselves to parathas omelets and chicken curry from the hamper under the berth i tugged at the hamper and dragged it to the middle of the compartment as soon as i untied the uh, straps the lid flew open and i let out a gasp of surprise in the hamper was our python as soon as i untied the straps the lid through flew open and i let out a gasp of surprise in the hamper was our python curled up contentedly there was no sign of our dinner it is the python i said and it has finished all over dinner nonsense said grandfather pythons like their food alive why this is an old hamper which was stored in the store room the one with our food in it must have been left behind grandfather snapped the hamper shut and pushed it beneath the berth don't let grandmother see him he said a little after midnight there was a great noise at the end of the corridor grandfather and i got up to see what was wrong suddenly there were cries of snake snake i looked under the berth the hamper was open the pythons out i said and the grandmother dashed sorry the pythons out i said and the grandfather dashed out of the compartment in his pyjama we can't go into the washroom a passenger said there's a large there is a huge snake inside grandfather and i entered the washroom together but there was no sign of the python he must have gone out through the ventilator said grandmother father he must have gone out through the ventilator 
said grandfather when we got back to our compartment grandmother was sitting up on her berth you told me you would left you had left her that creature behind and all the time it was with us on the train she scolded it's gone so you will never see it again said grandfather it must have fallen out of the washroom window even as he spoke the train showed down and slowed down and came to a grinding halt it's gone so you will never see it again said grandfather it must have fallen out of the washroom window even as he spoke the train slowed down and came to a grinding halt no station here said grandfather but putting his head out of the window and together we hurried towards the engine grandfather said to the engine driver anything i can do to help i know all about engines but the engine driver was speechless the python had curled itself around his legs and the driver was too frightened to move just leave it to us just leave it to us said grandfather and dragging the python off the driver he dumped the snake in my arms the engine driver sank down to the floor pale and shaking with fear i think i had better i would better drive the train said grandfather we don't want to be late getting into lucknow and before the driver could protest grandfather had released the snake uh, brakes of and brakes and set the engine in motion this is the lesson i read the lesson you to read and one small work i give you when you read the lesson please underline the hard words you please underline the hard words so that when i write on the blackboard you skill sit with your textbook and check whether what i gave on the blackboard and what you underlined are same or not or any extra are there then you can read with me then when i give the typed matter you can copy them okay so i took a very small class today for english here i stop thank you children